Thursday, July the 11th, 2024. This is the free three where I have a few MLB winners for you guys today. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? Just boy Noble Living back with another DYF Bets video where I'm breaking down my favorite picks and plays of the day. I'm just trying to get to the bag together and we're going to make that money. Yesterday, we had a split day on the channel, a two and two day. So not a bad day, but not necessarily a good day either. We cashed in on our WNBA bets, Brittany Griner's points, Kayla Copper's points. Both of those went over for the third time, fourth time against Dallas Wings this season continue to smash that as long as I can get that at that great value. We did lose on our two baseball plays. Rays first five money line. Seven hits off of Marcus Stroman in the first five. Only got one run. Bases loaded. One out. Bottom of the fifth inning was only able to score one run. You hate to see that. They lose that 2-1 to one in the first five. Padres on the money line end up losing that game outright 2-0. Tough to see that. 2-2 two two on the day. Year-to-date record right here. Month of July, just barely over 500 right now, but that's okay because we're about halfway through the month. We still have a little bit more time ahead of us, and I promise by the end of the month, we should be over 500 here. So stick with us here on the channel, and I appreciate all the love and support. Shout out to all the new subscribers on the channel where we're dropping these plays every day. If there's certain bets that you're looking for certain angles that you want me to take a look at let me know drop a comment below with the type of bets that you're taking right now in baseball season it's the month of july so not too many different options that we can go with so we're trying to switch it up we're trying to have fun and in today's video what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you two best bets with really good value plus 100 odds and then a hitter parlay so i always try to switch it up i'm trying to do player props i'm trying to do hitter parlays first fives full game money lines totals i'm trying to switch it up so this way we can have fun with it here on the channel but as always we need to be winning so if you you're winning right now let me know so that's why i can tell you all right my friends now let's dive into these winners for today for the first best bet of the day, let's go to the late night matchup between the Mariners and the Angels. I'm actually going to have to take the Mariners here on the run line, minus one and a half, plus 100. Now, we saw the Mariners cover the run line yesterday, and their offense is not the best, so I'm not the biggest fan of taking them minus one and a half. If you want to lay the minus 160 juice on the money line, be my guest. But the reason why I'm willing to take the run line here is not only the fact that the Mariners are sending Luis Castillo to the mound, who is supposed to be their ace, and I put that in quotations because we faded him several times this year but it's because of the pitcher who's going for the los angeles angels here they have jack kokonowicz i think that's how you say his last name i don't know how you say it but he's a young guy if you've never heard of him before that's because he's a rookie he's making his mlb debut he actually got called up from double a to make this start today and double a i mean he's been okay but he hasn't been that impressive he has a lot of strikeouts he's a 79 to 23 strikeout ratio over 16 starts but he still has a 4.55 era that's a little bit higher high especially on the double a level not including the fact that you haven't been to triple a and now you get called up straight to the majors to face a mariners team i don't really know if i really want to back the angels here because of that Luis castillo he has had his fair share of struggles this year 3.72 era to go with the seven and nine record and when you look at the home road splits he's been very impressive at home with the 2.98 era but on the road he has a 4.59 era that's a concerning point for me because this game is on the road at Los Angeles. But the only thing that's really got me confident in Luis Castillo is one, he's coming off a really strong start against the Toronto Blue Jays where he went six and two thirds innings, two hits, one earned run, which was a mistake pitch home run to go with eight strikeouts. That was a 2-1 win for the Mariners. You love to see that. Now, he also faced this Los Angeles Angels team is back on June the 2nd. And in this start, the Mariners won that game 5-1, to one, so they covered the run line. He went seven innings, no runs given up to go with his two hits. That's very, very impressive but that game was at home so you kind of see why he did as good as he did right so for me i'm really willing to back the Mariners here they've been in good form of late they won yesterday like i mentioned against the padres 2-0 they're 51 and 43 this year on the money line and the fact that we're getting a rookie pitcher i like the fact that i'm going to take the mariners offense here we're getting it at good value the only thing that you may want to also look at is maybe the over i looked at the over eight i like that number i also like the over four and a half but the only thing that took me off of the over is that the fact that both of these offenses are not that strong both of them are about middle of the pack against right-handed and left-handed pitching which is what we see today so because of that i'm just going to isolate it to the mariners side here mariners one and a half on the run line as our first pick of the day for our second best bet of the day another good bet that we're getting great value at is in the cubs and orioles matchup and in this one i'm going to take a look at the total and i'm going to go with the first five under four and a half plus 100 odds on DraftKings. now two other pitchers in this matchup that i really like albert swore
Suarez is on the mound for the Baltimore Orioles. Meanwhile, Justin Steele is on the mound for the Cubs. You saw him struggle at the beginning of the season for the Cubs, which is what actually led them to putting him on the injury list where we saw him there for about two months. But over the last few starts, Justin Steele is starting to find his footing. In his last start against the Angels, he won a complete game where he went only gave up two hits to go with one earned run and seven strikeouts. That is exactly what you love to see. His start before that against Milwaukee, seven hits over six innings and only three earned runs. His start against that before that against the Giants, seven to third innings, only two earned runs given up. That's what you love to see, right? That's the Justin Steele that we've known that is in the Cy Young form like he was last season. 2.95 ERA is what he has right now. And Albert Suarez, he's been equally as impressive. 2.48 ERA for Suarez. In his last start against the Athletics, six innings, four hits, only two earned runs, which was two mistake pitch home runs, so two solo shots. But his start before that against the Rangers, six innings, three hits, no earned runs given up. So back-to-back starts where both of these pitchers have been in really good form. We know what these offensive can do, especially on the Orioles side, but the Cubs offense has not been as strong as they were in the beginning of May at the end of April. So there's been a little bit of regression there for them, especially against right-handed pitching. And that's what Suarez is. I like both of these pitchers today. I like the value that we're getting at the first five under here, four and a half. I think this could easily be a 2-2 game or even like a 1-0-2-0 game going out after the first five innings. I'm backing these two strong starting pitchers here. Give me the first five under four and a half as our second pick of the day. For our third best bet of the day, we're going to go with two guys here and a hitter parlay who have been impressive, who have been knocking the baseball really well and have had their fair share of hits over the last few days. Jose Altuve to get a hit. Yandy Diaz to get a hit. Parlay those two together. You get to minus 125 odds. If you want to add a third person to get to plus 100, be my guest. There's some other guys like Trey Turner you can throw in there. Stephen Kwan, uh, Brian Reynolds. You can throw all those guys in there to get a hit to get to plus 100 value. Jose Altuve, he's been on an eight-game hit streak. He's batting 317 at home. He's had at least one hit in 20 of the last 25 games. It's pretty hard to overlook the numbers that Altuve has been putting up for the Astros. And now he has a good pitching matchup against Munez for the Marlins, who has a 5.48 ERA. And in his last four starts, he's given up at least four hits in each of those matchups. Altuve should be able to get to him. He's been crushing right-handed pitching. Let's take him to grab a hit. Now, Yandy Diaz, talk about crushing a pitcher. That's what he's been able to do to Nestor Cortez. In 31 plate appearances, he's batting over 400 against Cortez to go with three home runs. That's what you love to see. And that's who Diaz is facing today for the Rays as the Rays are taking on the Yankees. Now, Diaz over the last month has been on fire. He's had at least one hit in 22 of the last 25 games. And then he's also batting 330 against left-handed pitching as well. We do know Nestor Cortez is a guy that when he's dialed, he's really tough to beat, but that's typically when he's at home. Now the Yankees are on the road against the Rays, and that's where Cortez struggles. That's where Diaz shines, and I'm expecting him to grab a hit today. Altuve, Diaz, both to get one hit, minus 125 odds. Both of these guys are batting over 300 over the last seven games and 15 games and over the past month that is the type of people i want to back to get a hit and i think they should be able to do it today for our third and final pick of the day well, that's it for me today, my friends. Three best bets, three winners at really good value here. Give me the Cubs and Orioles under four and a half runs in the first five. Give me the Mariners on the run line. You're going to get both of those picks at plus 100. And then give me a hit or parlay with Jose Altuve and Yandy Diaz to get a hit. If you're looking to get the plus 100 value, throw Trey Turner in there. That should be able to get you over the hump. For more picks and plays and nerfies of the days, I just dropped them inside the Discord group. Click the link in the description, join the free group, and I've got you guys. All right, my friends, let's get to that cheddar, and I'll see you on tomorrow. Tomorrow's video. Later, gang.